Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Talk to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Do you guys know you anything later. about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Duck's favorite. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I?
Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us help, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get got our people out there! Here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your lives! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Uh! Uh!
Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit, the brain. He's back there! Now! Get over here! Hurry! May have you saved our asses. Get inside! Hi there, me! Help! Katja, hang on! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Got you! Hurry! Come on! Get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh, Christ! Let me get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Last chance! Get down here! Shit! Cat! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. 
It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily... Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not army. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem with it? Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? 
You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Just get in. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck? Happened during the raid. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. on his bike and they were in a truck throwing things at him calling their names stuff like that and this tough son of a gun he, he pedals up after him he catches him he pulls his bike up alongside the truck and jumps into the back and starts beating on him he teaches all three of them a lesson but the truck's still moving you see and just as he stands up to jump out it zooms underneath a tree and a branch hits him square in the face and he goes flying out the back If he can live through that, I'm sure Duck can live through this. something up ahead.
Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? I didn't cross my mind. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? Take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. Come on, Lily. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. <gasps> Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. This looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. Broken. There's 
gotta be a better way to do this. Derailed. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that. You've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. But you're probably right. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah.
I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Designed to save lives. This door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. in pretty good shape for a wreck. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. 
The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Have you heard or seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it down. I don't want you scaring the kids. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Definitely pry this thing free, if I can break it loose first.
shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Derailed. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. All yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Really? Yeah. I 
got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about it. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. 
We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full too. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Katja needs you, Kitty. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. Asshole, you know? You just say shit and then stand there. What do you know about a dead son? Nothing! Now get the fuck out of here! Hey! 
Damn it, can he open this door? Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. an asshole, you know? You just say shit and then stand there. What do you know about a dead son? Nothing! Now get the fuck out of here! Hey! Damn it, can he open this door? Stop the train. Get your hands off me. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to talk. We gotta stop this train because Cat needs you, Kenny. Doc doesn't have much time left. He'll be fine. I said stop the train! Make me. That's what I figured. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Knock this shit off. So, you wanna fight then? I just wanna talk here and relax. Then talk. Think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. A bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live 
when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please ride, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha!
What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were... You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha.
Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, guess not. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles. But you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A bit to the right. Aim a little higher. Aim more to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. Close. Now keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. A little bit more to the left. Aim lower. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Steady now. Oh, 
almost got it. Aim a little higher. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim lower. Bit to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim more to the right. Okay, a little higher. Steady now. Almost got it. Aim a little higher. A little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. Keep it steady. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. -uh. He's lived here a while. hurt and my ears have noise in them like you'll get used to it so you're probably not gonna like this oh no what happened nothing we have to talk about your hair it's not safe that's not nice what are you saying it smells no because it does kinda do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't moat. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? It means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
Looks like Chuck has some booze left. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. Be safe up here. You betcha. You get that hair sorted? Yeah, I don't think she cares for it. She will. Be safe up here. You betcha. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... would be, uh... okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Yeah? Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. Yeah. It's the best plan. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. What's on your mind? You're homeless, then. Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Hey. Yo. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. You 
Yeah, that'd help. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody!
Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. Empty. That's what I figured. That's about the only useful thing in here. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? These two are joining us. We'll see about that. 
Gotta be careful about newcomers, I say. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you two are good people. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Teaching them anything? Trying to. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned.
Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. They didn't have much business back then. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the taker out there. There's gotta be something useful in here. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. <laughs> <laughs> 